guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new version of the channel today i thought that it was by time that i actually put a face to the voice so here i am today i am farad and this is farad's kitchen um today in my vlog you could also see my kitchen um i'm really sorry in my earlier vlogs i could not show you my kitchen and i was working on a limited workshop space the reason due to that was that my kitchen was actually under renovation and because me and my husband we're doing the kitchen our own self because um, we were on a budget and we thought that we'll actually do it our own self so due to that um, the kitchen was incomplete and obviously the big factor was that because of the pandemic all the stores and DIY stores and everything was closed and we couldn't get hold of things that we needed but recently um, it's been about a few days that the stores have opened so we thought that let's quickly uh, get everything that we need and um, actually make our kitchen so as you can see this is my kitchen and I thought that I would share my kitchen with you and um, also show, introduce myself to you so let's get started on today's recipe um, and I will show you what we're making today so let's get started there's also someone I need to show you this is also face to the voice these are my birds my budgies my little babies and these are the noisy chirps that you guys hear at the background sometimes. We have eight of these. And believe me, they are very, very naughty. So let's get started towards today's recipe. Today's recipe is going to be chicken shashlik. And we're going to serve it with boiled rice, um, pea and cumin boiled rice. So the ingredients that we need is one cup of frozen peas, half a cup of buttermilk, 200 grams of boneless chicken cut in cubes, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, which is optional, one teaspoon paprika powder, one teaspoon tandoori masala, one teaspoon orange food coloring, one teaspoon cumin seeds. I have wooden skewers down here and two cups of basmati rice. In a bowl, I also have my vegetables cut i'm actually using peppers and onions you guys can actually use whatever you want to mushrooms cherry tomatoes whatever so let's get started in the bowl i'm actually going to add the buttermilk and with that i'm actually going to add all the spices i'm actually using powder version of food coloring because i could not actually find liquid version but if you guys can find liquid version you can use that So now I'm going to mix all the ingredients in well and once I've done that then I'm going to add in the chicken and I'm going to mix the chicken and the mixture together well. Once I've done that I'm going to let it rest for 20 minutes. It's uh, better if you let it rest for overnight but um, minimum 20 minutes can also be fine. But overnight is the best because all the chicken and the, mar and the marination it can actually be marinated properly and the taste will it will actually make a difference so now what i'm going to do after 20 minutes i'm going to actually put preheat my oven to 200 degrees and now i'm going to start assembling um the skewers now i live in uk and in uk at the moment the weather is actually cold so um, if you are living in any part of the country where it's warm or hot you can actually use the same recipe and instead of oven you can actually do it on a barbecue so i've actually greased my oven dish and i've cut my skewers to the size of my oven dish and now i'm going to assemble them first i'm going to put the pepper then the chicken then onion then chicken then pepper and then chicken but like i said you guys can actually use any vegetables that you want to and then i'm going to line them up on my greased oven dish i'm going to carry on doing the rest now that all of them are done what i'm going to do in a bowl i've got some olive oil and I'm actually gonna, with the pastry brush, I'm gonna actually dab the olive oils on it. And once I've done that, I'm gonna actually put my oven heat to 180 degrees and put this inside the oven. I'm gonna put it in for 10 minutes first, then I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna change sides. 
But in the meantime, let's boil the rice. So I washed my rice and I put it in this uh, pan and I've actually covered it with water. It should be that much water that your rice is actually drowned. And then I put in the frozen peas and I'll put in the cumins. But make sure that the water should be half of the pan because the rice needs to be boiled and then we need to drain the rest of the water out. Mix it well. Now I'm actually going to add in half a teaspoon of salt. Stir all the stir it so the salt does not make lumps. And then cover it. Now don't fully cover your pan, only half. Now once my, the rice started boiling and bubbling, I let it do that for three minutes. Now I'm going to turn my gas heat down and I'm going to drain the water out. So carefully hold the pan drain all the water out in a sieve and put the rice back in the pan so now i put the rice back in the pan and now i'm going to actually cover it with kitchen foil so we're going to steam cook the rice now and we're going to do that for a good 15 minutes so I've, make sure that it's all covered properly there's no holes no gaps left Put the lid back on and on a lower heat at the back of the uh, gas cooker on a lower hob. Basically, I spoke to my daughter today, and my daughter was telling me that there are, because of the pandemic, there are many families that have been hard hit. Obviously, we all have, we all have. Um, we, some have been furloughed, some are, you know, um, and are going to work. So she's saying that why don't we do a vlogging where I can show you meals good and easy and yummy meals made under 15 pounds um so i thought that was a good idea so why not do that so today's meal is definitely um a meal that is definitely made under 15 pounds and uh I'll, hopefully i will carry on bringing you meals like these and ideas like these where you can actually, actually make meals for under 15 pounds I will also show you uh, tips and tricks for home, um, how to make ricotta cheese at home, how to make buttermilk at home, um, because there are some puff pastries, how to make that at home. Apparently at the moment, um, we are having struggling to get hold of flour, struggling to get hold of yeast, struggling to get hold of these things. So once um, I can get hold of these things, I can show you how to make these things at home. and. Um, you can actually freeze them so and you can use them whenever you want to so hopefully uh, slowly by slowly i will definitely share uh, my tips and my kitchen experience with you guys Now we're going to prepare the dessert and for dessert I'm doing fairy cakes or you could call it cupcakes. So the ingredients that we need, we need 3 medium sized eggs, 175 gram caster sugar, 175 gram butter room temperature, 175 gram of self raising flour, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence and half a teaspoon of baking powder. But in the meantime after 10 minutes what I've done I've taken the um, my chicken out of the oven and I'm turning them around. So they can cook from the other side now and now I'm going to put it back in the oven. So now let's get started with the baking. So in a bowl I've added the butter, room temperature butter, 175 grams and with it I'm going to add the sugar. I'm going to sift the sugar in. So now I'm just going to stir it so that it doesn't, um, when I use a whisker it doesn't all fall on me so now I'm gonna use a whisker and actually gonna whisk the butter and sugar together I'm gonna do it for about a few minutes let's say about five minutes until they actually combined together once that is done now I'm gonna add the egg in one by one I'm gonna use a mixture as well so when I add the egg in use a mixture and stir it for a few minutes then the other egg and then the third egg So now once that's done, I'm going to sift the flour in. So 
Now I'm going to also, again, with a wooden spatula, I'm going to mix it in so that when I go in with the whisker, the flour does not all fall out on me. At this time, actually, I'm using two tablespoons of milk. It's because my, my mixture is a bit thick. So I'm just using two tablespoons of milk. Just mix it for a few minutes once everything is combined together and once that is done we're gonna go in and use half uh, sorry one teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract so at this time in my um, baking uh, tray in my cupcake tray I've actually lined it with um, cupcake um, parchment cases and now I'm gonna actually use a scoop and scoop out one scoop um, for every cupcake parchment cases. So now with a scoop, I'm gonna scoop them out and I'm gonna carry out. Now this mixture makes 14 to 15 cupcakes. We're going to put this in a preheated oven on 150 degrees for 20 minutes. So now my cupcakes have gone in the oven and out have come my chicken shashliks. They are ready. Now I'm going to actually serve them in a platter. My rice is done as well and show you the final look. So now my chicken and the cupcakes both are done and as you can see this is a final look. I really hope that you like my recipes and like I said I'm trying to do a budget recipes uh, recipes for you guys so that you guys can actually enjoy the tasty yummy food on a budget. Please do subscribe to my channel and that will encourage me to actually make more and more recipes like these for you guys. So if you like my recipes please give me a thumbs up, do subscribe to my channel. Till the next recipe, take care, bye.